Would you rather have a tie, just like last season, with Jujubee or Miss Cracker? <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. And I'm welcomed by the winner of All Stars 5. <laughs> Shea Coulay! Oh, oh my god, Nikki. It is so nice to virtually meet you. I am such a fan. I have been watching your tutorials for years. Oh, stop and it. I'm just so excited that uh, we get to sit down and have this fun little virtual kiki from across the world. Anyone who has watched my channel, the number one word in my mouth this month has been Shay. Anything Shay. All, all the things Shay. And uh, anytime we get the question, who are you rooting for? I'm like, Shay. I'm so excited. This has been like such a magical experience and I'm just like so appreciative for you and your support and oh. your shout outs, like your stories, watching Snatch Game and everything like that. I was just like, get, you have the cutest laugh, by oh, the way. Stop. Like, oh, stop. <laughs> because like I have a very like recognizable laugh too. And so when I, whenever I hear someone that has like a very distinguishable laugh, like it, it just like makes me fall in love. Oh. So today, Shay and myself will be doing a drag makeover. And just like with Crystal a couple of weeks ago, I want Shay to tell me everything. We're gonna get down to the tea. Even if it's piping hot or cold, we're gonna drink it. And also, we're gonna be doing a Shea look together. Now, I don't know which look we're doing. We're gonna be doing my um, entrance look for All Stars 5. Just a nice little cut crease yes. with a little blue accent. It's like one of my favorites. Yes, yes. I'm black. <laughs> so good. Oh god, I need to stop fangirling and get a grip. Let's go. <laughs> okay, girls, so obviously, you know, for me, it's always important to get, you know, a nice little uh, primer going. I like to do a spray primer first. Um, I like to use like Urban Decay Quick Fix Primer. I'll do like a nice little spray. Okay. All right, oh yes, oh hold on. It took me five times of auditioning to make it onto Drag Race. Five times? Um, yeah, I auditioned, I auditioned five times. Um, I never really got impatient because I knew that it would be worth it, you know, to take the time and to just like use it as an opportunity to get better and better. Talking about all stars, what kind of mindset did you have going in? Were you like, okay, this is my race? I knew because of my track record on season nine, and I knew how um, I was someone that the fans had been wanting to like see back for a while. I kind of went in there thinking that as far as the other competitors, there would just be a target on my back immediately. Yeah. So I went in there thinking to myself, I don't really care about making any friends. And I said that on season nine too. I think I like to pretend like I'm more of a hard ass than I really am. Me, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> And it was when they told us that uh, we had to vote, right. I was all like, actually, mm -hmm. this is my game because I can win this by being as good as I possibly can to people. Right. I'm just sure. like, and you won't want to send me home because I'm gonna do my very best to be like such like a good right. competitor, you know, someone with uh, just like a like lot it would of break like, your, It would compassion. break their hearts to, get, to vote you out. That was my little uh, technique. And speaking of techniques, ooh, um, ooh, that was a good we, bridge, honey. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do some color correcting. Okay. This is um, Give Face Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in there with some red. Yes. Get my little finger in there, and I'm just gonna start. I'm not gonna yeah, take not. red. <laughs> 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 my white ass. <laughs> God. I'm really fortunate that like when I was in college, I got a chance to take this uh, class called Chemistry of Art and Color. Okay. Where I got to learn about color theory. Oh. And it has helped me like a lot um, as like a makeup artist and a person of color with like a really rich complexion to find tricks to counterbalance some of the things that are on the market. What is like one of your favorite makeup tricks you've picked up on Drag Race? The girls in season nine were obsessed with crystals. Kim Chi, her and I uh, actually started doing drag together like eight years ago in Chicago. Um, we actually used to live across the hall from each other. Stop. And we would have what we called makeup kikis where we would like go over to each other's apartment and like put on episodes of America's Next Top Model oh. and just like, practice our makeup together. Yeah. I <laughs> we like love sit it. around um, like our dining room tables and with our like little uh, like fold out mirrors from the drugstore and just like practice our little technique. She got me into using um, like 
glitter, like iridescent glitter liner under the brow to like really just like pop Oh, that I brow saw that in your performance look, the red and then the glitter, oh. So um, obviously now, right. I'm gonna link in some foundation, Urban Decay's All Nighter. She's um, not a I stick love, queen. I'm yeah, like, yeah, where, where's I, this? <laughs> right. <laughs> but trust me, I um, layer it on. I like go in with like a nice, good like foundation brush and I'm just, my art teacher who is like a fan, she follows the show. Oh um, She taught me so many amazing techniques about how to really just be super detail oriented. You know, I try to be as prepared as possible. I think about like any situation, all the outcomes, like I literally am one of those people that weigh those things um, in my head. So when they asked you back for All Stars, what were the pros and cons? Or were you like, I'm on it? This time I was just like, I'm ready because they had asked me to do um, All Stars 3 and 4, but I just didn't really feel like I was in a place yet to go back. Because I feel like, you know, there needs to be improvement from the first time you did it. And yeah. though I had seen some growth, I felt like, I really hadn't gotten to a place of like growth yet where I felt like I could go back there and be like, look at me, I'm a new, you know, I'm like Shea Coulee 2.0. I'm using um, Smashbox Studio Skin to kind of like go around the perimeter and then I kind of blend them together. I have like learned in my years of doing makeup that honestly, um, more is more. Um, even when I'm yes. like really trying to look as natural as possible, I'm like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Me. I like creams and I'm like a cream girl because um, just for stage, once you start getting into that stage lighting. You're a dancer. Yeah. How do you make things stay? Like, how do you make sure that nothing moves? Botox in a lot of settings. <laughs> 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 like as soon as I had some coins, I was just like, okay, I need to get Botox in my forehead so I don't sweat anymore because that was always where I would lose my makeup from sweating from my forehead down. I and I was like, it. enough is enough. I'm using um, the Revolution concealer. And we're considering this as like concealer, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, she's, she's fast. She's, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so- No, go oh, ahead, I love this, it. RuPaul's Drag Race, gives you so much anxiety about taking time doing your makeup. Like, honestly, if I start getting over an hour and a half, like, doing my makeup, I start to, like, feel The producers. Anxiety. Like, someone is going to run in the room and be like, we need you on the runway now! Doing our makeup on the show, we're having to have such, like, deep conversations. Right. Like, sometimes, like, people's, like, life traumas, and you almost have to, like, it teaches you like how to fully multitask and like being able to like create and do an impressive makeup. It's like exercising two different parts it's of your brain. It's everything at once. Also, like not only do you have to get fully ready, but you also have to do a photo shoot. What? Yeah, they take your um, runway pictures for um, the WOW uh, Plus Presents show um, fashion photo review. <gasps> they need the pictures of your outfit before you go on the runway. So you also have to set aside time to go to a green screen, like fully done to like, you know, um, get this picture. All right, so you're so, carving like, out brows now? I just like shave my brows, cause like, you know. Right. Um, and I'm going in with uh, the same uh, Gift Face Cosmetics uh, palette and I just dip in the white. Okay, boom. I'm going to powder. Oh, we're powdering now. Okay, yes. Here, we're going right. to powder. So I like get a gigantic, you brush, do it with a brush? Load it up, and then I normally just start around that lightest part in my like eye, my brow bone, and then just like work my way out. Oh my God, friends that virtually powder together, stay together. So who are some of your best friends from the show? Jujube, right. Pheromone, oh, Latrice Royale. Yes! Um, I was such a fan of hers for so long and, you know, meeting her in person, getting a chance to work with her, spend time with her, get to know her. She's even better than she is on TV. We have to give it up to um, the YouTube influencers and people who do um, makeup tutorials because they have allowed so many makeup enthusiasts, like, I don't even think you even understand how many makeup enthusiasts like you have inspired and helped and taught, oh. you know, just from your own 
pure joy and love for makeup. I feel like you have shown the importance of growth and yes. Um, yes. <laughs> really taking the time to like learn and experiment and find different techniques and ways to do clever and impactful makeup applications. I feel like that's one of the very few ways that like we as individuals get to kind of get an escape. You know, I came out this year and my channel yeah literally was an escape because like you know in real life people knew about my story and, and and like I was always reminded of it and then when I started my channel they saw me for me and for my art and for what I created and it felt so good to be judged by by what I could do instead of what I was mm -hmm. so that's why I feel like it's so important to have that escape and and if there's any people out there watching you know, this world is yours and it's it's our yeah. little safe place. And I know there, there's often a lot of drama, <laughs> yeah. but, but it is very easy to just cut that off and focus on the good because there is good in this community. I'm one of those people that I like lay on my blush and stuff too. Like I kind of like get the whole kind of like base for my face. Done. done. I use like a coral red um, little blush moment. Okay, again, my brow is like the I'm scared version of your brow. <laughs> it's like, I would like to speak to the manager, whereas you just want to read five. <laughs> Walking into the, the workroom and you saw your mm -hmm. all-stars companions, mm -hmm. who in your head was top three? Miss Cracker walked in right after me and I was just like, okay, there's competition. Blair walked in looking like a supermodel and I said, okay, she came to compete. <laughs> Jujubee walked in there towards the end. And you and were so like, fuck I, no. <laughs> so I knew at least I was looking at myself, um, Blair, Cracker, and Juju. Um, and you know, look, we made it to the top four. Were there any surprises, like early exits? Mariah's. Yeah. I feel like she deserved like more time. Absolutely. And that's the only that's the only vote that if I could change, I like would change. Okay, so you've had a year to think about it. Who lied? Yes. I feel like what happened, like what I'm coming to understand happened. India essentially just exaggerated what had gone down with Alexis. I feel like Alexis just like asked her in a very pointed way, like, are we getting rid of Shay? Like, is that who you voted for? But okay. I read in an article where India said that she asked her that question after we had already voted. So it wasn't like she was trying to get me out. I think she was trying to get the tea of, of okay, what the, girls the girl did. that's the strong girl um, is in the bottom. Like, is this what we're about to do as a cast? Are we going to get rid of her? I was the individual that said, so you're campaigning against me. Like, she, India didn't say that, nobody else said that, but as soon as I said those words, that's what everyone took and started running with. And like, I feel like India wasn't necessarily expecting for me to take it to the group like that. And I feel, feel like that's kind of what caused it to explode. But I'm one of those girls, like, I wanna get to the bottom of it right away. Okay, so like now I'm like, let's get into these eyes. I'm gonna go and lay down some powder to catch any fallout. Bam. Yeah, so I just try and mimic my little eye shape. I'm gonna go in with the Be Perfect um, Stop. Ball palette. Stop, stop, stop. I grabbed one palette, just anticipation, just like, I'm like, this should do it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna jump in there, throw this mint right here, like under the brow bone. What is your top five favorite entrances into the workroom? Definitely would have to say um, Raj's entrance on season three with the one-eyed purple people eater like hat. It was just so bizarre. I loved it. I loved um, Sasha Velour's entrance on season nine where she came and just screamed at the top of her lungs. <laughs> I have to shout out my season nine entrance too. I didn't come to play, I came to slay. I also have to say Pheromone season nine entrance when she just comes in and goes, oh, this is what it looks like in here. Oh, right? <laughs> One of my new favorites is uh, Canada's Drag Race with Jimbo. She goes, oh my God, wow, oh my God. Let's go in here and get some of my concealer on this Brush. Kiss like the bottom of my eyebrow. I 
Like, um, I can't even tell you the last time I took this much time um, getting ready. It's so nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go in and start with my, with my Carnival palette now, just like carving around the upper part of the, um, the crease. The, yes, well, I literally left no room for shadow, so I'm done. <laughs> Never ever perform in drag again or not have been on All Stars. I guess not be on All Stars. Right. I don't think I could just like ever just like go without it ever, ever, ever again because it's brought me so much joy. Where I feel most alive is like on stage. Cause you'll feel it. You, like you will really feel it from me because like I, I perform for like the security guard at the front door letting people in. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I want everybody that is under that roof to like feel it. Raja or Raven? Ooh. It's like Raven is like the face that launched a thousand selfies. Yep. And like Raja is the undisputed runway strut queen. Yep. I'm going to have to, have to say Raja. There is also, I feel like, a history there as someone who watched America's Next Top Model. Yes. Sutan doing the girls' makeup, you know, that was super influential. Yes. We are all convinced in this household that you've got this one in the bag, honey. Okay. Oh, fingers crossed. You are going to be an all-star. But would you rather have a tie, just like last season, with Jujubee or Miss Cracker? <laughs> it would have to be um, Juju. Because Juju um, is one of my favorites. Yes. She has been for a long time. Jujubee has come so close twice now. I just feel like she is very deserving of having a crown. I feel like Miss Cracker, uh, definitely could even have the potential to come back on another All-Star season. Ooh. And I would love for her to be able to show even more of her talents because she's really multifaceted. I think I'm like ready for liner. Oh my God, the moment is here. So what would you say is your favorite season of RuPaul's Drag Race? A classic was season two. Uh-huh. It always has a special place in my heart. Just like, cause Tatiana and like. Oh, yes, Raven. And that moment on the on the runway where they call out um, Tyra. <laughs> Tyra, it's the best. <laughs> I mean, season 12 has been iconic. I love season nine, cause there were bangers on bangers. Wait, Valentino's love... on your season two, right? Uh-huh. I mean, I'm sorry. Can you take that thing off your face? I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Drag girl. history. Honestly, full tea, it was worse than that. <gasps> Tell me everything. After she said, I would like to keep it on, please. Yeah. RuPaul, like you could tell the, the physical reaction RuPaul had to that because she snapped back at her like, so I stopped this lip sync for nothing. And when she said that, I feel like that was the moment where Valentina was like, oh, cause she had been such a favorite up until that point. And they had all been so, you know, kind and like, you know, encouraging and just like loving to her that it really did kind of like gag her. And so she literally like froze and just stood there staring at RuPaul like blankly. And RuPaul was like, hello. And there was just like this standoff of like awkward silence of RuPaul being like, does this, like what? Like, oh it was my God. insane. And meanwhile, me and Trinity are just standing there just like. Oh my God. We had just come from doing Untucked. They announced that we had won it right at the top of the runway. And so they're like, okay, we'll just go back to Untucked. Right. And so we started having our cocktails in Untucked, but we hadn't had lunch yet. Like when that was going down, I was wasted. Oh. <laughs> I was wasted. So I was literally just so out of it. Like, is this really happening or am I just drunk? Okay, so next, glitter liner. Literally just gonna go from the like base of the liner on the bottom, just like up, just to like make it pop. Oh, I'm in love. Oh. What do you think will go through you if, and I, again, I don't think this will happen, but what will happen 
to you if you lose All Stars 5? Would it be the end um, of the world or? Oh, hell no, because I know that I went in there and I gave exactly who I am, what I wanted to do, and I am incredibly proud of myself. I'm so proud. I know that I have so much amazing support from my friends and my family, and also just like the fandom that um, I already feel like a winner. Do we want to do some lips? I'm going to go and line them first. And then I like mimic it on the top. Oh, I love that trick. So yeah, I do like a little heart and then like a little triangle to like make it more pally. And then I'm gonna go in with like a light, like super peachy kind of um, liquid lip. This is a uh, new tempura. I like kind of do like four little like pillows cause I, I'm like trying to draw like little pillows on my face. So I'll do like, A few moments later. And there we have it guys. Nikki Kool-Aid in the building. I hope I did, I hope I did good. I'm such a proud mama right now. Oh, like you look sickening oh. the house down boots with the fur girl. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow to RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star season five to see our baby win the crown. <laughs> Do we want a Dutch word of the day? The Dutch word of the day Lipstick. Lippenstift. Lippenstift. Oh yeah, you're lippenstift. Oh, lippenstift. Yeah. Oh, good job. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, my lippenstift is on point. If you want to get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out Shay on Instagram and all her channels. I'll put them down below in the description box and that's it from us today thank you so much for watching i love you so much and hopefully i'll see you on the next one 